Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Bug House. This is a home invasion horror game where you're playing as a kid whose parents went out. I have no idea where they went, but somebody is lurking around the house and knows that you're all by yourself. Let's figure out what Bug House is all about right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Okay, so we're waking up in our house. We just shimmied off the bed. It was like a yoink! It wasn't even like a smooth transition off the bed. But this is my life. This is my story, and this is who I am. Okay, let me take off that VHS effect. Volume to the max. I don't even know where I live, but damn, it sucks. And light switches can be turned on and off. You think? Use the darkness to evade any threats. However, too many light switches on at one time may trigger a power cut. I guess the fact that you use too much electricity means something in this game. Even though in reality, it shouldn't mean that power should go out. But here we go, everybody. Wait, should I check what's going on over here? I'm barely taller than two boxes? Damn, bro. Why do I have to go outside like this? I did not even know this was here, by the way, but you know what? Here we are. This is my diary. Let me read it. 2810-1980. I found a hole in my closet today. It's smelly and old, like your mom, but I feel safe in here. Like nothing bad can happen to me in here. This is my own secret. If I told dad, he would just cover it up and say it's dangerous or something. Eric was outside my window last night asking me to come in and play. Holy shit, that knocked me back. But when I asked mom, she looked so scared and called dad. When I told Eric he couldn't come in, he got so angry and walked away. What's up with that thunder? That shit by my butt cheese clap. And now it's um, November 29. I went to the hospital today. The doctor said I should try writing in this journal to help me understand i don't want to but my mom's making me this feels stupid and so pointless they were talking a lot but i was listening until my mom started crying i'm so used to her crying now and eric says she hates me he's probably right everyone does hold on before we do anything i need to turn that down that was ridiculously loud like that hurt my ears actually should i read this whole thing oh my god no i'm not here trying to read novellas i'm out here trying to survive a home invasion all right so let's get the flashlight. Yeah, buddy. And what's in here? Oh, wow. Got my own bathroom? What the heck? So what am I supposed to do? Oh my good God, dude. What's up with this game? Man found dead by 13-year-old boy. On October 31st, an unnamed child found his father hanging in their family home after a supposed divorce. I kind of want to keep the lights off. I'm scared, though. This is a very creepy game. And the lights are always on. Why is the phone off the hook? Oh, you know what? Whatever. Don't matter. What's this? Dear Christopher, I've left a list of chores for you to complete whilst we're away. Who the fuck says whilst in a note? While we're away tonight, if you have any problems, give Nana a call. Please don't forget your pills. If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet and lock the door. If the power goes out, the fuse box is in the basement. I love you so much, Christopher. Just know Papa is watching down on you. He was proud of his little boy. Love, Mom. This is the chore. Fuck that thunder, dude. Chores to complete. Clean up dirt on the floor. <laughs> Why don't you just say sweep the dirty ass floor, Mom? Do the dishes, do the laundry, food into dog bowl, take your pills. All right. So, let's do the dishes. Sounds like I'm scraping the plate with a fork. That's cute. Um, what's next? Clean the dirty floor, right? Clean that dirty ass floor. Fill the dog bowl, which looked like it was already filled to the sloppy top. But you know what? Our dog's a good boy. What? What? Why did the thing go out? I was gonna make a joke about this pizza. I was gonna say, this pizza flatter than pancake ass. Damn, man. This game has loud sound effects. Fuck that. I don't like this one bit. No, sir. God. I don't like this game, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck it. Come on. Wow, this fuse box is in this freaking rat maze? What is happening? Oh my god. The power is turned off by storms and other forces. Your sanity will drain rapidly until the power is enabled. All electrical equipment will be disabled. I don't give a shit. Turn that thing back on. Oh my god. Yo, this game is annoying. I don't like this one bit, everybody. Fuck. I'm nervous. I'm sweating on my underboob right now. 
Like, I need to wipe away the sweat. Hold on. There you go. Sweat has been wiped away. I said sweat. He said a sweat. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Bro. I... You know what? I just need to tune out all those noises. Just gotta tune it out. Here's the dirt. Look like the dog shit on the floor again. He had a number three. He had an accident. But that's, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Look at this flat-ass pizza! Good lord. Is that my only friend that looked like a burglar? And that that's my dog? What the dog doing? I can't believe the power in the dumbass house went out again. Let me see this chore list. Clean up the dirt on the floor, do the dishes, do the laundry, food into the bowl, take your pills. Where's my pills? Hold on. I need to find the pills. Where would they be? What the hell is this? Whoa. Okay. I'm not liking this, everybody. Why is this house so freaking creepy for no reason? And I didn't see that dirt there before. I feel like that dirt just, like, came upon itself. Does that even make any sense? Am I making sense in the language that I know and love? Oh, here. There's my pills. Okay. So the pills have been taken. Should I even turn on the light? God damn it. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it for the gang. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for the gang at least. Right? Let me see if I did this. Clean up the dirt on the floor. Fuck. I really have to clean up this dirty ass floor? It's the biggest house in the damn world. All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna do this in the dark. Please, no scary things. I've never seen a basement this freaking massive. My good lordy. Why would the fuse box be all the way back here? This is insane. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Anyway, I'm just talking so I don't scare myself because the silence is deafening sometimes. And plus, I need to see the dirt on the floor. So, why does it look all creepy when you look up the stairs too? I think that's the scariest part. Let's turn that off. Because I know that if you keep the lights on, right? The, the switches are going to come off or like the, the fuse is going to blow. And we definitely don't want the fuse to blow. Definitely not. And whoever hung this up, it's probably this short ass dude. He probably hung that shit up. Anyway, let me see what we got here. Nothing. All right, where's my dog at? He could be a good guard dog, but he's being a little bitch right now. And there's no dirt over here. Okay. Why is the phone off the hook too? I don't know. I'm asking myself a lot of questions with no answers. So what I'm going to do, everybody. I'll flick that off. And let me see if I can find some dirty ass floors. No dirt there. No dirt here. Oh, what the heck? Freaking mud stains right there looking like a slip and slide. All right. I think I did everything. Oh, what? Even more? I didn't see that in the beginning. I feel like the person's already home invading. They gotta be. And they have dirty ass shoes too. Okay. You know what? I'm not liking this, everybody. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Yo, I'm shaking in my shorts. I'm shaking in my booty shorts right now. Whoa! Who's that? <laughs> oh. Bloody no! How the bloody hell did you get this in here? Hi, Christopher. Hey, it's Eric. Eric. I see no one's home tonight. Please, can you let me in? Your mom won't know I came in. We can play some games like hide and seek. I know how much you like hiding in your bedroom closet at night. Maybe you could start there? When the lights go up, you have 30 seconds, and then I'll come in. Get ready, and don't let me catch you. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Okay, do I go in my closet, my little hidey hole? Hold on. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Fuck. Go, 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 go. Okay. Close. No, no, no. I hid. I hear him. Oh, he really did come in. He wasn't bullshit. Let's see if we can see him. Let's see if we can see this asshole. Oh, fuck. Kind of nervous. What? What was that about? I don't understand why it's so freaking loud. What? Should I go look? Uh, Should I go look for him? I don't want to look. I'm scared. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bitch boy! I'm suffering for little bitch itis right now. I do not want to look for him. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Where you at? Where's anybody at? What the fuck is happening? to the Halloween store and got a mask that's like two sizes smaller than his face. Why does it look like this? Did this dude just redecorate my home? What is happening? Is that my mom? Why she look like that? Mommy? Sorry. Sorry that I called you mommy. Why are you built like that, mommy? Oh, God. What is this? Diary 1. How dare she take my only child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll do everything to get you back to your father. While I'm stuck here rotting in this tiny apartment, she's out here using my alimony and house to whoever she wants. She'll pay. Oh, she'll pay. I have just a plan to really get to her for life. It involves a chain and her garage. I know she's out all night, so I'll sneak in and give her the biggest surprise of all. My freaking dead hanging body. See you in hell. Wow. Oh, that is disturbing. I did not expect this game to be this disturbing. I don't have a flashlight no more either. Oh crap. Yo. I did not expect this everybody. This is actually super freaking creepy. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know why the house looks like this. Should I go downstairs? I think it's like the only place I can go. <gasps> okay. Alright, just keep going Jay, just keep going. Just keep going. Fuck. What's happening? There's nothing here for me. There better not be somebody coming down here. I swear on my mom, I will not do anything. Oh, crap. Okay, that's gotta be mom. That's gotta be what we think of mom. I think that the whole situation messed up the kid pretty bad. Who is that? Shit. Mom's diary. I can't take this anymore. It feels like this whole house is cursed. Like it's slowly eating at me. I feel like I'm dying inside. Nothing feels right anymore. Christopher's constant crying and whining about Eric. My husband's attitude and always starting unnecessary arguments. Just yesterday, he pulled a knife on me with this crazed look yelling about finally ending it all. I just took Christopher and ran to mom's. God, why did I marry him? I've decided a divorce is the only thing left for us. This relationship has gone on for far too long, James. This needs to end now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll survive any longer. I'm crying every night now. Only the wine is calming my nerves. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school staring at me every day. This house is cursed. Oh my! That's a huge bitch! Whoa. Bro, leave me alone. Are you following me? You don't know me like that. You don't know me like that. Or do you? That person probably knows me like that. What's happening? Oh god. What? Holy shit. What is this game? This is a home invasion game. Looking like beef patty walls. But I don't see anything. Let me go this way. Yep. I actually see something now. Okay, so I gotta keep finding these little diary entries. Christopher's diary. Eric has started to act really strange. He's been telling me to do things which I don't want to do. He said I had to kill a cat, otherwise mom would be hurt. I didn't do it, but mom seems upset now. I didn't do it, but mom seems upset now. Did I do something wrong? Maybe Eric was right. Last night we had a pizza party with dad and mom. It was so fun dancing and eating pizza all night long. I got tired though and started to draw Eric, who was watching us play and dance all night long. Mom saw me drawing and looked scared. I said he was outside, but she didn't believe me. Dad got really mad, so I ran and hid in my secret room. He never found me. Mom said I need to go for a checkup today, but I don't feel sick. Eric said it was a trick, but I don't believe him. I'm starting to see him a lot more now, which I don't mind. He's always so funny and kind to me. Not to my mom or dad, though. Okay, so this Eric person is just like a make-believe friend. They're not really a real person. That's what I'm getting from this thing. And I just have to keep finding more of the entries. So let me see if I can find other things down here. Please, please, please. No? Yes? No? Okay. Nothing. Yeah, so the kid, I guess he's traumatized or he's just going through some shit with the mom and dad situation. So he made this friend up and now he's been seeing the friend more and more and more. And the mom thinks that he needs a checkup. There's actually something right here. 
What is this? Christopher's mother has brought in Christopher today for a well-being checkup. At first glance, he appeared normal. However, with a glazed, fixed stare outside the window, they seemed normal at first. Although, when he mentioned he could see someone smiling outside the window, I became suspicious, as we were on the sixth floor after all. After analyzing Christopher for most ailments of his age, I believe PTSD and or psychoactive disassociative disorder fits the closest. However, this is rare in someone his age and has no real treatment apart from a constant dose of sedation. I need to delve deeper into this young boy. He seems as if he's at a breaking point. Christopher has a possible alternate personality called Eric. Extreme caution must be taken when evaluating Christopher due to the sensitive nature of this condition. No relapse at this moment in time. Citation and extra analysis is needed. Okay. There's gotta be an entry down here. There's gotta be. If there isn't, then you know what? Screw it. Yep, I knew it. Okay. Thank you, Christopher. Really. You've allowed me to become free. You're exactly where I've been these past years. Waiting and waiting and waiting for you to let me free. Now it's time for Eric to become in control for a while. All those doctors were wrong, Christopher. They just wanted to hurt you and take you away from me. But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and helped me from take control much sooner. I can't wait for you to see what we have become together. I know this is confusing, Christopher. I wish I could explain better. So instead, allow me to take control even more. Allow me to commit my final act, Christopher. Allow myself inside you. Oh, God. Oh, my God! Wow! Go! Fuck! Go, go, go! Oh, Jesus! Go! Oh, please! 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 Oh, shit! No! Oh, what the... Hey, chill, bro! Chill with that! Damn! Oh, that scared the hell out of me! Good ending? Wow! I thought for sure that was not a good ending. I thought it was anything but. Alright, but we got a good ending, so... Can we clap it up one time for me? For being great? Can we clap it up for me one time for being the GOAT? Hell yeah, dear mom. That night changed me forever. I'll never go back to the way I was before. I now understand that Eric wasn't real. After all these years, finally coming to realize that I had another personality was tough to process. The doctors say that dad ending his life had created some sort of coping mechanism inside my brain. Eric was that coping mechanism. I'll never be the same, but I'll make damn sure Eric never comes back. After all, I have a kid on the way now, mom. You have a kid on the way now, mom? Wow, look at you. Okay, so I kind of caught on to what was happening. I kind of figured out who Eric was to the main character we were playing as. And I was actually a lot more creeped out when the house was normal. So I wish they kind of just stuck with that route. But I guess for storytelling purposes, it made a lot of sense. And this game was actually really creepy. I don't know what it was about this game, but it was very disturbing. I had chills the whole time. I never get chills on my leg. And I noticed that like the hairs on my leg were kind of just like standing up for some reason. So kudos to this game for creeping me the hell out without using jump scares. I will say though, that the jump scares were really loud. I hate it when stuff is like so loud that it hurts my ears. But you know what? It is what it is. Hopefully you all enjoyed this game called Bug House. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.